Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to power 2, subtract x to power 3, this is equal to 12. So what is the value of x? Solution from here, we have x to power 2, subtract x to power 3, this is equal to 12. So the first step is to take 12 on the left hand side, so that here we have x to power 2, subtract x to power 3, subtract 12 this is equal to 0 so from here we have x to power 2 subtract x to power 3 subtract 12 which we can express as 8 plus 4 this is equal to 0 so then now from here we have x to power 2 subtract x to power 3 subtract 8 which we can express as 2 to power 3 then subtract 2, 4, which is 2 to power 2, then this is equal to 0. So now we have x to power 2 and we have 2 to power 2. So let's combine this. We have x to power 2, subtract 2 to power 2, then subtract x to power 3, subtract 2 to power 3. This is equal to 0. Now from here, we can express this as x to power 2, subtract 2 to power 2, subtract now we can write this as x to power 3 plus 2 to power 3, this is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. The first part is actually the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. And then we have the second part here, which is the sum of two cubes, which is in the form of a cubed plus b cubed. So starting with the first part here. We have that a squared minus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b, then we have a minus b, so that now x to power 2 subtract 2 to power 2, this is the same thing as x plus 2, and here x minus 2. Let's call this equation 1. Now the second part here is the sum of two cubes, that is a cubed plus b cubed, which is we can express as a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. So x to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3, this is the same thing as x plus 2. x squared subtract 2 x plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Let's call this equation 2. So let's combine equation 1 and 2, so that now we have x plus 2, x minus 2, then subtract, here we have x plus 2, then we have x squared minus 2x plus 4, this is equal to 0. So x plus 2 and x plus 2 here is common, so we factor out x plus 2. So that now in the bracket here we'll have x minus 2, subtract, here we have x squared minus 2x plus 4, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 2, this is equal to 0. And the second part is here, which is x minus 2 subtract x to the power 2, then minus times minus 2x, which is plus 2x, then minus times minus plus 4, this is, this is minus 4, this is equal to 0. Let's rearrange this equation, we'll have minus x to the power 2, then we have x plus x, so plus 3x, then minus 2, minus 4, this is minus 6, this is equal to 0. So let's proceed from here. Here we have the first part, that is x1 is equal to minus 2. So let's solve for the other values of x here. We have minus x squared plus 3x minus 6, this is equal to 0. So the first thing is to multiply by negative 1. So that to form a quadratic equation, which is now x squared plus 3x 
multiplying by minus 1, this is minus 3x. Then minus 6 times minus 1, this is plus 6. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared. Okay. We have plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, and c is equal to 6. So, so for, for the values of x2 and x3, we apply the quadratic formula, that is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all this divided by 2 times a. So the next step here, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So we'll have minus, minus 3, plus or minus the square root of minus 3 squared, subtract 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is equal to 6. All this divided by 2 times 1. So you will have minus times minus 3, this is 3, plus or minus the square root of minus 3 squared, this is 9, subtract 6 times 4, this is 24. So here we have minus times minus 3, this is 3, plus or minus the square root of minus 3 squared, this is 9, minus 6 times 4, which is 24, divided by 2. The next step here. We have 3 plus or minus the square root of, we have 9 minus 24, this is minus 15 divided by 2. So this, this, in the next step here, we have 3 plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 15 as 15 times minus 1, all this divided by 2. And here we'll have 3 plus or minus now, the square root of minus 1, this is i, so we'll have i square root of 15 divided by 2. So this implies that x2 is equal to 3 plus i square root of 15 divided by 2. And we have that x3 is equal to 3 subtract i square root of 15 divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. So we have only one least solution here, which is x1. x2 and x3, these are two complex solutions. And we have x1, which is minus 2. This is a real solution. So let's verify that this real solution satisfies the equation. So let's verify here. Now, if you recall, we have that x to power 2 subtract x to power 3. This should give us a value of 12. Substituting the value of x here, x, which is minus 2 squared subtract minus 2 raised to power 3. This should give us a value of 12. Minus 2 squared, this is the same thing as 4, subtract minus 2 cubed. This is the same thing as minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. So minus 2 times minus 2, this is the same thing as 4 times minus 2, and this is equal to minus 8. So here we have minus 8. This should give us a value of 12. So 4 minus times minus, this is plus 8, and this is equal to 12. So 4 plus 8 is 12, and this is equal to 12. So the left hand add side is equal to the right add side. And that implies that we have three solutions to this problem. That is two complex solutions and only one new solution. So thank you for watching. Kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe.